Goodbye, I said to them. Goodbye. But they did not hear. I guess another language was reaching the ear. A language of numbers, perhaps. But they did not hear any, and so I relapsed. I walked along dejected, with a pain in my heart, which I believe will never end. A pain that I'll never part. I hurried along so I wouldn't miss my train. I had four minutes to travel the one kilometre to the station. I wasn't going to make it in time. It was my damnation. Just as I reached the platform, the train pulled up. I went to step on the platform and I tried to wave to the train driver so he would wait for me. But alas, he did not wait nor create any sign I longed to see. He had stopped too far away, too far for anyone to see my way. He did not use maths to know when to break, no maths at all roast he had for my own sake. People do not care about number anymore. I feel as a peace corps from the Vietnam War. Forgotten and alone I remain. Forgotten and alone and filled with pain. No reasonable explanation was perceived how such a thing could be achieved as I walked back from the station feeling ever impatient. Flashback filled my mind with a scene, a scene of many good people, many of them clean. We all worked together to achieve the same goal. We all used maths and never did we fall. Alas, such a cuisine has now filled their mouths with a taste far too obscene. They have hardened their hearts and forgotten the numbers in me. I looked into the mirror and I see a man for whom I can't help but sympathise for it's the apparent strength of mine on which this poor man relies and these eyes in the mirror that stare back at me no longer offer the strength and comfort I wish to see just a broken spirit longing for self-pity but too proud to accept pity and not wanting weakness to be seen I'll wrap myself up in an artificial well-being cause it's better than seeing myself as a weak human being and so I'll keep on smiling and I'll keep on agreeing that everything's fine with all that I'm seeing. I walk out and look to the staircase. So much math included in every pace. I yearn to understand what this mystery beholds and yet those around care nothing of such apparent gold. The angle the stairs make of the ground so magnificently mathematical and yet little renowned. Each step's rise is equal to the next and each step's run is equal to the other. All the rest is still pure number and without any of this number nothing would have ever been done. As I pondered all this many false thoughts flew through my mind that I was the only one who pined and longed and yearned to learn about the numbers. That's the train of thought that may keep me up tonight, but I've refused to lose sight of the battle I have to fight, and in my own little victory I will win myself the right to see a mathematician in the mirror, a man above all the rest. My pride has been enough to add light to this place and remind me of the dreams I am still yet to chase, and I will embrace new life at the end of the race. Today in my world, I met myself face to face,
I have conquered maths. I have conquered the world.